What is up everybody, it is Bourgeois here, and in this video I want to go over some of the general usage of using the Helm Synthesizer. One of the first things that it's important to note that if you're using the Helm Synth and you're turning the knobs and you make a mistake, if you want to go back to the default value, all you have to do is simply double click on it and it goes right back to default. It also works for sliders as well. If you want to go back to the default value on a slider, you just double click on it, it goes right back there. The other thing that's really cool about this synth is that there's a MIDI learn function and all you have to do is right click learn MIDI assignment and then just turn the knob in which you want to assign it to can you do to another one learn MIDI assignment and then there you have it it's really awesome if you want to um, undo that you can just clear it double click goes back to default clear if you want to go back to default just double click on it and there you go the other thing that's really important to note about this synth is the audio modules and that's this top section all right here there some of them can be turned on and off and you know that by you know you can see this little power button you just click on that and it's presented in its full form it goes from grayed out to like its full form and then you can tell that they're you know turned on and then you just click it to turn it off another thing that's important to note about this synth is the voice audio flow and the global audio flow so for the voice audio flow, you have the oscillators, which are stacked on top of the sub, which are stacked on top of the white noise. That gets fed into the mixer, which gets fed into the feedback, then the filter, stutter, and the formant. Then all of that gets fed into the global audio flow, which is the distortion, delay, reverb, volume, and finally, the final output that you hear in the end. So that basically covers it for this video. In the next video, we're going to be going over oscillators, so that should be coming up in a bit. So I hope you found this one helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.